does 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 13 and 14, do those verses teach Calvinism? And what I'm going to suggest to you is those verses actually teach against Calvinism. Look with me at 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 13. But we are bound to give thanks always to God for you, brethren, beloved of the Lord, because God hath from the beginning chosen you to salvation. Now, if you, if you just read that part, you can see why Calvinists would like it. Because look what it says. God hath from the beginning chosen you to salvation. That sounds exactly like Calvinist doctrine, doesn't it? God, before the foundation of the world, he chose who he was going to save. Well, what, what, what a clear proof. What did I not do? I didn't finish the verse. I didn't even finish the sentence, right? If you only read part of a sentence, can you change the meaning? So, for example, if the, sen if the full sentence is, I love you not, and I stop reading after I love you, have I changed the meaning of the sentence by leaving out part of it? Clearly. So now let's read the whole sentence, the whole verse. But we are bound to give thanks always to God for you, brethren, beloved of the Lord, because God hath from the beginning chosen you to salvation through sanctification of the spirit and belief of the truth. So God did choose pe people to salvation, but how did he do it? Well, he did it through sanctification of the Spirit and belief of the truth, meaning that in order for you to obtain salvation, what do you have to do? You have to believe the truth. And if you don't believe the truth, you are not chosen for salvation. That verse is not saying God chose person A, but not person B. He chose person C, but not person D. What, that's not saying that at all. What, what, it, what it's saying is God chose to save people through belief of the truth. Look with me at 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 21. 1 Corinthians 1 and verse 21. 1 Corinthians 1, verse 21. For after that... In the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. What did it please God to do? To save who? Them that believe. What God did is God chose to save those that believe. Now, how many does God want to believe? All, because God's will is that all men be saved and come unto the knowledge of truth. God's desire is that all men be saved. But the people who determine whether or not they're saved is each individual because they decide whether or not they believe the truth. See that? God chose people to salvation through belief of the truth. That means it's up to them. Go back with me to 2 Thessalonians 2 for a minute. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. And I'm going to read, I'm going to read verse 13 again because I want you to get 13 and 14 in your mind at the same time. Verse 13. But we are bound to give thanks always to God for you, brethren beloved of the Lord, because God hath from the beginning chosen you to salvation through sanctification of the Spirit and belief of the truth. So he chose to save people through the belief of the truth. Now notice verse 14. Whereunto he called you by our gospel to the obtaining of the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Does verse 14 say, God called person A but not person B, person C but not person D? That's not what it says. He called them by gospel. What? The gospel. So who is the gospel available to? All men, right? Anyone that wants to can believe the gospel. Look with me at Romans 1.16. Romans chapter 
Romans chapter 1, 16. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. What Romans 1, 16 demonstrates is that the gospel of Christ is the power of God unto salvation, meaning that anyone can access that power. All that you have to do is you have to believe the gospel of Christ. You have to believe that Christ died for your sins, and if you do that, then you are saved as a result. So does 2 Thessalonians 2, 13 and 14 teach Calvinism? No, it teaches the opposite of Calvinism. God chose people to salvation through belief of the truth. 